Hi, Sam and Haley. Hello. Back with Ryan here. And uh, Ryan, you have to look up there. <laughs> and we have a fancy camera today. And we are playing, what is it, like red flag, green flag? Like, what would you call this? Red flag, green well. flag, white flag. Yeah. The flag game. I took it very literally and only had two flags, but now we have four, so I don't know what to call it. <laughs> the flag game. I like the flag game. We're playing the flag game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to do Baxi Forcies? Baxi Forcies like normal? I suppose. Because some of these are Whatever you want to do. Right? So what, oh, okay. What the H-E double hockey sticks is Baxi Forcies. <laughs> Somebody doesn't listen to our podcast, clearly. God. It's where we take turns. Oh, okay. <laughs> One at a time. Okay. Really? Is it Baxi Forces when you have a third person? Or is it Baxi Forces Forces? Okay. All right. Haley, you go first. You go first. Oh. So, I'm getting All right. Let's see. Hashtag boy moms. Immediate. Immediate. Oh, yeah. Immediate. Immediate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Immediate. I'm not sorry. It's weird. Do you have personal experience with boys and boy moms, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That was why I put red flag up. <laughs> Oh, no, I mean, like, it's like, like I, I know. Mean, it's, like, it's one thing, like, <laughs> if you're a mom, yeah. And, like, obviously, you should be like, you know, like, it should be cool to be a mom. I'm sure it is. But, like, please have something other besides for that in your personality, for the love of God. How do you feel about moms yeah. saying that their sons are the loves of their lives? It's fucking weird. <laughs> Just go ahead and get that out there. It is. It absolutely is. Yeah. Sorry, it creeps me out so that. much. It's just so creepy, me. and we're not yep. on the receiving end. Like you're on the receiving end. Like I don't know if your moms are said that, but like no. as a dude, like you would be on the receiving end of that. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was an easy one. That was an easy one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Softballs. So <laughs> you go. It might you have go. just like oh, a whole know. list of softballs. Then I don't know. Do you? <laughs> but don't worry, I have some absolute like stop. Some some like ones that are just like what? No. <laughs> Loves to dance at weddings or in public. Oh, green flag for me. Stop. I have to sort. I <laughs> that's the one I was going for. I was having a having okay. a time over here. First off, Haley, explain your yellow flag on this. In public sounds very vague, so. I'm just like thinking at, like, of at like a bar, at a bar. Or, like, oh, okay. I thought you meant just like at dancing. the grocery store. <laughs> oh no, that would that would be a red flag. But... No. Yeah. Yes. Start, is it High School Musical when you walk into Kroger? Okay. <laughs> First off, I take offense because we were at the market. Uh, me, Carrie, and Taylor were at the market, and we were dancing the entire time. That is that is that is a different context that I'm. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at this bar. Are you talking I, about when like, I'm at public, I just mean like, you know, at like a like a bar that has a dance floor. Like just someone that is just like, oh my god, there's a dance floor. Let's go. That's such a green flag to me. <laughs> For me, it depends. Like if they're not a good dancer, or if it's absolutely judgy. But if they like have no rhythm, or they spill their drink all over you, like there's so many oh, variables yeah. for yeah. it to be a green flag that. Mm -hmm. With no other context, I can't. I can't say hell yeah to that. So I did a yellow flag because I don't know if you know this, but my wife, woman, loves to dance, and I have grown to also like to dance with her. Aww. But before I got married, you would absolutely not stop. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, oh my I just, god! I don't, I don't. Maybe I'm like too wound tight. I think in, so. Like, public situations, but like, absolutely not. Okay. And even whenever me and her dance, I'm not like out there like 
footloose. Really? Like, I'm still like, you know, like, just like. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. I've never been prouder of my husband in my life because if Fergalicious or Fergie comes on, it doesn't matter where we are. Homeboy is pop lock and dropping it. He's bringing it back and rubbing it on my body. He God, is throwing it back. Here, the next time he is here, I'm just going to hit a wax on it. You know he will. He'll do it. He doesn't give a damn. He's not in the grocery store in Home Depot. Well, oh, see, like, like, like me and Taylor dance at home all the time. And, like, that's. But it, it's just different. If we go to a bar it is. Before, and she's like, let's go dance. And I'm like, I literally could not think of anything else. I would rather not do. Yeah, no. He wouldn't do it at, like, a bar. Yeah. Like, no. I would rather commit murder stop then get out there with these <laughs> have you and jacks ever danced in public with like a dance floor uh, yeah at weddings and in the before times when i used to go to bars and drink a lot in yeah in the before like times. that was fun that was the place to dance though but i'm not a great dancer so it might be a yellow flag for him as well i don't know but he's he loves to get out there and dance he's kind of like brian He'll just go for it. Been walking. Okay. All right. My turn. My turn. Okay. Let me sort my flags. Yeah, you're right. We do have kind of a lot of flags on here. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have so many. Hold on. Sorry, everybody. Oh, yeah. People that are into the Vikings or paganism. Like, really into them. Like, people that have, like, the Vulcanite necklace. Yes. And all that. Yeah. I'm looking for mine. Yeah. For a second, I thought you meant the Minnesota Vikings, but I'm no. glad you that clarified. That is also a red flag, let's be honest here. Oh my god. I like her all like, yeah, red flag. Red flag on the play? Well, that was easy. That 100%. Was a, what do you call it? Softball? Softball? Softball. Soft boiling them eggs. Okay, alright. What? <laughs> well, wait, we should... Why is it a red flag for for you guys? I know the answer, but we should explain. White supremacy. I was about to say, it's yeah, it's... If you get yeah. like, I know Taylor talked about like this like woman came in one time. She really wanted to the clover, but it's because like I think she you know, had some Irish heritage or whatever. Okay. And so she wanted to <sighs> the clover, and Taylor's like, "Let me tell you why I'm not going to do that." Oh, is that part of it? Oh yeah, there's like a big yeah, like four leaf clover is like a big white supremacist thing, and it might really, life, but yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Specifically, like tattoos of them. Is like that's like their like calling card. Oh no! Like hey brother, hey sister type vibes. Yeah. And <laughs> so I take that and like yeah, if you got like the bulk nut. Yeah. Like or like the necklace. Thor's hammer. Yeah, like if you have like the necklace and like you got T-shirts. Mm -hmm. I know a bunch of people get the Thor's hammer on their hand, mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you're like some red laces and Doc Martens away yeah. from like. Is that a thing? I guess I don't know the signs of a white supremacist. That's like, that's like I don't know if I can say that word on here, but neo. Oh, okay. Neo Germany in nineteen forty. Yeah, Doc gotcha. Martens, red yeah. Stuff. Or yellow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I no. feel like it's definitely not just Doc Martens, though. Oh no. But it has, has to, to be, be like red it's just like yeah. like black combat boots, right? Like, or black boots. Well, I'm definitely on like I feel like they try. I know that they like adapted runes, some of the runes, but like me and Taylor mm -hmm. are in agreement with this. Like you can't have them. Like I don't care if you take them. Like I feel like if they only have the one specific rune on them, then it's kind of a red flag. But if they have like multiple, then it's like they could mm -hmm. just be pagan. You know. I don't. I have it. It's on. It's on the like hate like? symbols dot org or something like that. I don't know if that's a real website, but it's like there's like a website that tells you <laughs> non profit. <laughs> there is a website though that tells you which ones they've adopted. Yeah, but and it's like the dressing up too, and the like makeup that like Vikings didn't wear, and then them like not realizing that Vikings was like a job. It wasn't like a person. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like it was also mm -hmm. like. They were farmers. Yeah. That's sure what they did. Like, and they're like, right. it was the, that was their fucking vacation. Right. Like, and if you guys want to like, hop in a boat and like. Go pillage. Go pillage. You want to go <laughs> get lonely, explore each other's bodies. <laughs> oh, you know, they were doing so many, like, so many drugs. Yeah. The hard shit. 
I don't know what was. I don't even know what was around back then. I was gonna say, what's the hard shit back then? What is that? Fucking Alaska. It's a long ass drive to get some get some drugs. Look, I I'm sure that the 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 seers back then had to be on something. Oh, for sure, for sure. That'd be awesome. Okay, all right. Moving on, Haley, your turn. My God, our credibility went. (laughs) Wait. I I think our credibility is fine. But I also only brought two flags to this episode, so maybe I'm just wrong, period. Let's see. Using Facebook as your diary. Mm. I'm going to say it's these, both of these. Red it's like an yellow. orange, I'd say. Yeah. Because it's, it's really cringe. Like, I die inside when I see it. But I feel sad for the people that do it because I feel like they don't really have anyone else to talk to and they also probably should go see a therapist yeah but just haven't yet so i'm like i'm sad for your sadness well i feel like there's other private platforms that they could use instead of facebook like they chose facebook for a reason you know i think that's like why i gave it a red flag oh yeah there's definitely the attention aspect there yeah i feel like i'm just (laughs) look at i'm like i mean i just i just feel like like if you're like using facebook as a diary a go to therapy mm-hmm. like go period talk to somebody that can like actually like help you not your cousin greg who's just gonna be like what, what do you what do you mean by that <laughs> tell, tell me your secrets hmm. then they'll just say i don't want to talk about it yeah. right oh yeah, yeah they're like, be, they're like they'll be very vague and then someone asks and they're like oh well, it's private and it's like no it's not you put it on your public facebook page. right I will try to find a free resource for therapy and put it in the bio. Try to find like a legitimate free one for people that want, want to like explore <laughs> therapy for free. Because I know that's hard. Like accessibility is hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, even like. Yeah. I've like helped like friends of mine that like. I mean, even had health insurance, but like. Yeah. Most well, therapists don't take they're insurance. Not. Yeah. And I mean, even psychiatrists, most psychiatrists don't think it's mm-hmm. yeah. And like, I've like helped them, like, maybe not free, but like find places because they're like, you know, I don't know where to go. And I'm like, well, like, here's this website that at least points you in the right direction. Yeah, exactly. Like, mm-hmm. like, you know, I might not be able to get you where you need to go, but I can like put you on the right path. Great. Yeah. That's what we want to do. Which is really good because that's overwhelming even to. Look yeah, for well, a therapist yeah. can if be you're already, like, if it's you're a, in a lot position to be seeking that out. Like, yeah, congratulations, you have to find it too. Right. Oh. Okay. This one's a juicy one. Oh, okay. Get ready. Calls all of their exes crazy. Oh my god, that's easy. That's a good. That's a good one. The biggest red flag. The biggest red, red flag. flag. Literally, yeah. We can't even reach the camera, but like, cover my face. Red fucking flag, bro. Big, Red flag. Big yikes. Big yikes. Big yikes. Yeah. Fuck that. Mm. I guess I, I look at it like if you're calling all your exes crazy, like if odds are, just statistically speaking, you've dated five people, all of them are crazy. No. Statistically not possible. It's you, bro. It's you. It's you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, sure, could both of you have had something, you know? to do with your falling out absolutely right but like if you are like outwardly like if you're, if you're posting on facebook like hey i don't know if you guys know this max is crazy no Ugh. the call is coming from inside the yeah house. It's you. no mm-hmm. no okay so gross i have so many okay hold on oh okay this one's like a funny one has a rat tail question are we? Am, am I going? Am I thinking of like a girl with a rat tail? Just anyone with a rat I tail. I got different flags for both. <laughs> okay, hold up both. That <laughs> I'm doing green flag for both. I think that's so cute. Stop. Yellow flag. Yeah. Definitely yellow. Okay. Explain your red. Red. I'm gonna. Is if, red for females? Yeah, Ryan? it is. Why? 
I think if you're a female and you have a rat tail, you are probably... I'm sure you're a great time at parties. I bet you are wild as fuck. Probably a little too wild for me. (laughs) Yellow flag. For men? For dudes. I got some buddies that have some rat tails. And like, would I hang out with them? And like, you know, maybe like go out and drink? You know, have a couple of beers? Sure. Would I let them watch like any children of mine? Absolutely fucking not. Stop it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do yellow only solely because of the length of the rat tail does determine the grade. <laughs> so like, I'm gonna do green and yellow. Wait, what if it's like that rat I'm... tail that viral one's been going around where it's like the rat shaved into the back of the dude's head and the tail <laughs> coming down. That's rad. This is getting into gross territory. You're, you're the one that gave it the green flag. I like I'm just, you. I'm just, I like you're like, it. it's cute. It is cute. And so positive. Up, like, yeah, I bring yeah. up like the, probably the, the best interpretation and you're like, absolutely not. If it's like down to their waist, bro, that's where we're getting in like yellow. <laughs> almost red. <laughs> It has to get that long to just be yellow. Yeah. So move Ugh. back, you're like still green? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> if it's down to your waist, you might like survive off a diet of like just pure Mountain Dew and like moon pies. <laughs> yeah. I think that like it shows that <laughs> you're dedicated and you can commit to something. <laughs> There are other ways. Yeah, I can think of a lot of other things. There's literally like a dozen examples on Sam's body of ways to show commitment to something, and none of them are a rat tail. Why not just like grow all your hair? If if that's what you're trying to do, just grow it all out. I've never felt more attacked. On my belief, Obi Wan Kenobi, like, like <laughs> see, that's not bad. Like, didn't Luke Skywalker have a rat tail? No, it was Obi Wan. Was it Obi Wan? And it was like a little on the side, yeah. cute. But that's but then, not like, when they came to your age, waist. Yeah, then when they came of age, they cut it off. Oh, I like. <laughs> okay, like everybody that's listening with a rat tail, like I believe in you. <laughs> I just want to say that I have a yellow flag because if it's like an emo kind of rat tail, then it's good. But if it's like how it was when I was in like second grade and the boys would have like a shaved head with just bangs and then the skinny little rat tail at the nape of their neck. No. Look, that's West Virginia style. That's West Virginia style right there. I know exactly who you're talking about because I went to school with some of those kids. To this day, I guarantee it, their moms still have the same haircut. It's the bangs. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the perm bangs <laughs> down the back. Mm-hmm. Every, like, office, like, headshot that they have all look the same. Like, from, like, 1983 <laughs> to now, all look the exact same. Their names are probably, like, yes. Darlene, yes. Charlene, something lean. Yes. They're, like, I can think, I can literally think of a handful of moms Stop, that, 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 that match that <laughs> to D. Oh, my God. They're all office administrators. See, that's how I feel about mullets. Like, mullet, emo mullets, I love them. Country mullets, I hate them. Is that weird? That's a weird thing. What but about that's Australian how I... mullets? I don't know what that looks like. It's Sounds hot. Mullet. It's a mullet with an Australian accent. <laughs> You're drinking Foster's. All you need is an accent. Okay, you're done. <laughs> that's it for Ryan Chastain on the podcast. Everyone thank him for being on. You're never going to see him again. Anyways, next up. Odd. <laughs> okay, clearly your turn, well, Haley, because I got so much heat for my rat tail. Sorry, Jacob. Jesus. Jacob? Yeah, our friend has a rat tail. Is... I have, yes, oh. I have one for every tattoo artist here. Let's go one thing straight. Jacob's rat tail is this long. It's so tiny, but it's so cute. It's a little. That's it's fine. Like... That's a green flag. Even if he wants it down his back, I will support that. Clearly. Oh, You've made that abundantly clear. <laughs> Look at the point where it's like tickling his ass crack and you're like, you can keep going. <laughs> like, at that point, like, you know, like, you want to pay the ass to go to the bathroom? No. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Before we move on, I do have a story time. I have like a jumper. It's so embarrassing. I have a jumper that's like black from Torrid. 
And for some reason, the person that designed this hates women and put like, <laughs> clearly it was malicious, put like string ties on the back. So you have to untie it. And I went into the bathroom one day and like just dumped out. Sorry, Ryan. Dumped out. I don't give a shit. Dumped out. And like y'all, these fucking strings were in the fucking toilet. Oh and I'm god. The, I'm here at the fucking shop and I'm like, oh sorry. I'm here at the fucking shop and I'm like, how the fuck are you gonna go out <laughs> with poopy on your fucking jumper strings? I had to rip them off and throw them away in shame and do a walk of shame. And the whole day I had to be like the rest of the day, I was like, nobody knows, Sam, it's fine. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. No Well now everyone knows. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, you confess yeah, this at the scene gonna, of the crime. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell the story, <laughs> but I also have a walk of shame story at work. Teaser for next time, folks. Yeah. What's the story? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Haley, you go now. You go now. Uh, it's fine. So I do have one one on my list that I'm now debating saying because I heard both of you say it and I don't want to be attacked, but say it. Okay. Referring to women as females. <laughs> oh my god. You want, I'm gonna, but I have there's context, all right? Let's get this. You know straight. what? You know what? You know what? I'll do yellow too. I'll do yellow too. Context is needed. Okay. Yeah. Fucking Libras. Okay, this motherfucker is a Scorpio. Yes. I'm a Libra. I know. Really? You. I know. Yeah. I know this is a show. I'm still Libra. I'm like right on the cusp. Ugh, cusps. Okay, cusps. guys. There are no such thing as cusps. Stop saying it. It's mathematically impossible. Okay, continue. I'm really that passionate was a about it. Crisp even... cusp. <laughs> okay, my yellow flag is because if you're, I guess when I do it, it's fine. <laughs> It's your yellow flag. Oh god, I got a little dizzy. I mean, I guess like my yellow flag, like if 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 it is just some random dude, be like, oh man, like all these females, Ew. then yeah, mm -hmm. like that's great. That is a red flag. But like my my context here is like if I'm watching a fucking like Nat Geo documentary and David Edinburgh is like the female gopher, like I'm like, all right. <laughs> It's context. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Right. Not okay. us needing nuance in a game that's based on like gut reaction. Goodness. Doesn't separate their laundry when they wash. Oh my god. Doesn't separate. That's Just throw everything in there. That's a red flag, dude. Yeah. You're both a menace to society. Are you serious? It's called color catcher sheets. Stop, y'all are done. I don't know what that is. But I can tell you oh. this: I have been doing Mom <laughs> Taylor's laundry pretty much since we've been together. The only thing I separate is towels because so I wash towels on hot towels and like sheet stuff get washed mm. hot. Everything else, it's warm or cool, depending on what it is. Stop. I have yet to have, like, I mean, granted, we also own mostly black, black shirts. Yeah. But even like our white shirts, I've never had any of them, like, change color. I think mm -mm. it's a myth. It's not a myth. I think as long as you don't do it on hot, it's fine. Oh. Trust me, try it out. It's delivery. Color catcher sheets. I'm going to have to try this because Brian, he doesn't separate his laundry. I separate mine, but he doesn't. See, Brian's living the truth. Yeah. It's just a they little, it's like Brian. a, it's, it's like a dryer sheet, like in, in shape, but it's just something you toss in the washer when you start it. 
and it's supposed to like absorb all the color so it doesn't leach into your other clothes. Huh. I do separate my I do separate my sheets and towels. Yeah. If I had it my way, I would just be able to watch wash everything together, but I do have to separate Jax's jeans and his socks because his socks are caked in cat hair mm -hmm. and he never zips his jeans and he's put a hole in one of my shirts once. Like he never he never rezips them when he puts them in the hamper. Is oh, what I mean. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I okay. It's also something me and Taylor don't do. No. So no, we Haley and I have recently invested in clothing, and I will be damned if I mm -hmm. mess up one of my dressed and Lala fits because I oh, yeah. washed it with everything else. Yeah. I'm, so I guess I, just, I do separate, I in, but I yeah, know, I didn't know that like the jeans being un, unzipped or something. I didn't either, actually. Most of my shirts do have like holes in them, though, but it's usually from like when I was walking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. You guys are literally barbarians. Okay, we're gonna have a talk. You were about just this telling afterwards. us about your poopy shirt strings. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but you know what? I, I bet, probably did separated. You, did you separate them? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't tell you guys anything. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> People that don't tip because they say it's they're they're not going to tip someone for doing their job. I don't even need the context for that. Just people that don't tip. Yeah, people that just don't tip. Flag. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Ryan. Even though tipping, <laughs> hold on, it's a red flag. Are you justifying it? Hold on. <laughs> I do feel like it's weird this trend of like people buying from small businesses. And then tipping those people for packing their orders. Isn't that weird? I'll, let me I'll, 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 let me let me put my own spin on it here. So whenever I go to like our little Mexican restaurant right here, and I get to go, yeah, I will usually even then even though like all they're doing is just you know getting the food and putting it up. Even though lately they've been fucking it up, I still give them like three or four bucks because like Same. they're still doing something and like yeah. I, don't, I just feels wrong for me to just be like, thanks for my order. Like, go, yeah. fuck, go fuck yourself. But like, huh. I'm not tipping them like I would a waiter or a waitress. Right. Like, I'm not giving them like, they ain't getting 15%. But like, yeah. relax. The one thing I don't like tip-wise is like, whenever you go to a place that is not typically, like a small business, but a place that is not typically tip, like based. Yeah. And they, you know, they fucking rotate the iPad around. The iPad rotate, yeah. yeah. Yes. Like, I'm not giving you, yeah. like, a tip. That's exactly it. That was what I was thinking of, too. Yeah. I hate that shit. Yeah. You kind of did put it into perspective, though, a little bit, because I do tip when I do to go. I do give them a little tip. And, like, I used to have tip on my website for services, though, not oh, for yeah. products. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, if they were to get a reading and it was like they love the reading, like, yeah, pop off, give me a tip. But, like, when I had my small business, I didn't like have tips on there for like me packing their crystal. Yeah. Well, it's but like I guess that, yeah. that, could, that should be like intrinsically in the price of. Yeah. A little bit. Right. Yeah. But your to go order mm -hmm. kind of puts a different spin on it a little bit. Yeah. Because well, like they're. Well, but well, like, but. I also look at it like, you know, they're like, obviously they are doing something like they are. Putting right. Kind of thing. And like, who knows what if it's a slow night and like, you know, you're one of like three people that yeah. like, you know, that is on their like till hmm. and like, Maybe the other two people are assholes. Like at least they can be like, "Well, you know what? That guy that got to go tip me four bucks. He's not an asshole." All right, all right. Hmm. 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 Given, given, given me some things to think about the next time I get to go because that is some place I haven't been tipping. <laughs> really? I've, I yeah, because I was. Thing, if you don't, I don't like. Like you know what I mean? It's a gray area for me. I'm like, if you yeah. do, cool. If you don't, I don't care. The one yeah. place. This this might be a little spicy. Uber Eats. So here's my thing. If it's semi close, if I'm ordering from like one of these restaurants right here, yeah, like that I could easily walk to, if I'm just too lazy to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit them with like the lowest percentage. Tip. Why? Because it's just like it's, at that point I'm tipping for convenience and like. I mean, but they're still traveling from further away <clears throat> than you are, where you could walk to it. 
to look. I don't yeah. Care. Don't make me walk this back now. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Like, mm. look, they had, to, they had to accept the order. All right? Okay. We're, all right. All right, Haley, keep going. Nope. I'm, I'm going to pull a red well, flag for that. I. I'm not going to I'm not going to say mine yet because I see what he's saying. But I think it should be like you tip like regular for the closest and if it's really far away, you have to tip like way above and beyond because yeah, sure, delivery yeah, drivers sure. like that they don't get like mileage or anything. Yeah. yeah. I guess yeah, Which that's sucks. what I mean. Like if it's like su- if it's like, you know, yeah. pretty close then like mm-hmm. I'm going to give him like the I forget whatever. I don't know what Uber Eats is. It's like 13 or 13 or 15% like the lowest that you can tip without doing like custom mm-hmm. so it's, i used to usually do that but like if it's like they're like get me something from like south of kennesaw or something like that then like yeah i'm gonna like, i'm gonna hit them with a good tip so if they get you something from starbucks you hit them with a 13 ryan what stop look if they get like three dollars for it that is a gallon of gas it is not custom a gallon of gas to drive over here from starbucks you don't know that it it might cost them a gallon of gas to get from where they are to get your Starbucks. All I'm saying is they accepted the order, right? They knew they knew where they were yeah. from where it was going. They knew what they were signed up for. Oh my god! Okay. Yep. Right. Any any professional delivery driver will screen orders. They don't take yeah. just anything. Yeah. Right. Unless they're, they're desperate. Like like waiting like, That's like true. as soon as this thing goes green, I'm grabbing it. That's true. That's true. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thank All you, right. Man. All right. Okay. Hey, got my back. Pe- only one. People who people who aggressively hate rap music. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hang on, I, I am gonna I'm gonna do this. What? Because oh man, we have too many options. It depends yep. on spe- like the specific reason, obviously. And the genre of rap music. Hmm. Here's my thing. I I love like rap music, hip hop, everything. But that like Lil Xan, whatever that kind of stuff is, like the screamo rap, trash. Get it out of here. <gasps> Don't want it. It's awful. I got one better. Another another kind of rap that like I'm always open to like hate on. Country rap. No. Absolutely. What? Colt Ford trash. Stop. Throw him away. Are you sticking up for Colt Ford right now? I'm not, but I'm just saying there are some great country rap. Like who? Boys. I don't know, yeah? but I just okay. know that there's good ones. <laughs> I mean, I, okay, so mm-hmm. I, I don't really have room to talk because I don't like Tech 9 and people think that's like the weirdest thing. I mean, Tech Nine's like Tech Nine's a weird dude anyway, but yeah. like his, yeah, his that's style of rap obscure. is like a very it's not like mainstream by any means. Mm-hmm. I, I can I can understand that. Like there are some Tech Nine songs that I do like I enjoy. But there are also plenty of Tech Nine songs where I'm like, yeah, like if you want to turn that off, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, right? I'm like, okay with that. That's like, fine. Like, hey, if you want to yeah. turn the radio off now, it's cool. I don't I don't need to hear this. God <laughs> Oh my god. Is it my turn? Yeah, I think it's All your right. turn. That was a good one, Haley. That was a good one. Thank you. God. Look, I get a long list. I know we're not going to have time to go through all these. I know. These are some zingers. I like... Doesn't like animals or animals don't like them. Oh my gosh, immediately. Immediately a red flag, right? Immediate. Mm-hmm. Immediate. Oh yeah. What's wrong with you? See, my my context right. of this is you can ask my wife. I am the male incarnation of fucking Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> Did like, not expect swear, that yeah. that sentence <laughs> to end that way. Like, <laughs> wait, is it Snow White? That's yes, awesome. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, babies and animals love you. Yeah, Snow White. Quick question. This, this, this is coming from a 29 year old. Why was it not Cinderella? Because Cinderella was the one that was like having the birds like hang stuff up for, wasn't she? Yeah, but like. I mean. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's you know, it Also, Snow White. I guess because Snow White was the first one. 
Yeah, so people sense. associate that with her. Yeah, but like I can like like our ca- uh, Taylor's the cats we have that yeah. are our cats now. They were just Taylor's cats, and she, like the first the first night, like I like stayed over there. She was like, she was like my cats like don't like like new people at all, especially like du- like dudes. And I was like, all right, whatever. Two hours later, both of them were like cuddled up in my lap. Yeah. yeah, the baby does love you too. That's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, that's a red flag though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dog, dogs have like intuition. Yeah. Dogs get like like a, a bullshit radar. Mm-hmm. So like if a dog don't like you, I'm like, mm, mm. you'll have to meet Goose to see what he thinks I of you. Goose. You're the biggest man he's ever gonna meet. So I'll hold him. I'll hold him, <laughs> little baby. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Goober. Goober. Precious. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Haley, please go. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later then. Oh, the people, football fans who watch every single NFL game every oh week. God, absolutely. When you mean every single, we talking mm-hmm. about they've got like the, the NFL season pass where you got like 18 games up at one time. Not a Sure, that flag. counts too. No, I disagree with your flag. <laughs> so, so you can have controversial flag choices but not him <laughs> pointing at the flag your honor i digress to the rat tail argument please if you will damn it that's gonna be the death of me okay i enter Ex- this into evidence Ex- <laughs> exhibit a please your honor. explain your freaking yellow flag i think i don't i don't agree with it because i don't I don't fucking watch football, but <laughs> I can I can empathize with those people because, like, I think I think here I guess here's my thing: if you have shit to do, but you are spending all that time watching NFL all weekend, red flag. If you got all your shit taken care of and like that's like that's your happy place, like by all means, indulge. But, you know, it's like it's everything's good in moderation. I don't think you should be watching all the games. It's probably a little much. Does anyone even really care about all the NFL teams that much? Probably not. But that's not just... I think there's definitely dudes that do. Because okay. they're usually in, like, multiple fantasy leagues. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I well, think... at that point, like, they're not even, like, they don't actually care about, like, who wins. They just want their dudes to do good. Right. I feel like... Mm-hmm. I guess the reason I did the red flag was because so many dudes that do watch every single... NFL game or even like any people any person that is that dedicated to NFL like tell me your partners like the high school they went to tell me their grandparents names you know what I mean like mm-hmm. I wish I could I, go back in time and quiz my ex that used to do that little, see if he knew like, it was a lot yeah like I lived for baseball season because he hated watch he wouldn't watch baseball on tv but like he watched every all football games like i don't know monday night thursday night college football on saturday every sunday all day red flag that's a red flag also here's my i know i was so young oh it was hellacious though get some diversity in your sports yes Mm mm-hmm like i don't i don't want to sound like what is it like? What do you call people that are like? I'm like trying to be a trendsetter. Pick me. Yeah, I'm not trying to be like. Well, not like. Pick me. I don't. I don't know. I'm not trying to sound like different or like unique. <laughs> but like, he's a hipster. Mm, such a hipster. <laughs> trendsetter. Like, I watch. I I used to watch NASCAR growing up, but like, you can only watch so many cars go in a circle for so long. <laughs> and, uh, like, yep. Uh, but like Formula One, that's fun. Like I watch soccer. I watch video games, <clears throat> but like, if like all if you if you only like like football, like try something else. Right. Maybe go on a hike. I don't know. Like, <laughs> maybe yes, watch, something watch not blind. sports. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Even, like, Get into that. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, RuPaul's mm-hmm. Drag Race. You love that show. It's my favorite show. It's. We're currently watching How to Build a Sex Room on Netflix, and it's actually really cute. It's so good. We Ryan and I love that show. We love it. 
It's so what, good. What? What? what is, was that, is that real words? Yeah. Right? How to build a sex. Yeah. How to build a sex room. I can tell you watch that. With me it's now. so good. It's a really good show. It's so it cute. Is, and she's it's, such a sweet lady. I yeah, watch, she's like uh, a an older British lady, a quirky uh, contractor, and I she goes it. in and like yossifies people's houses. Yeah, for sex. For sex. So it's cool. It's <laughs> it, it gets interesting towards the end too. It gets real interesting. What do you mean, like towards the end of each episode? No, towards the end, of, like the season, like drains are installed. <gasps> Damn spoilers. <laughs> Fucking buffalo right. bomb. Right. You go, you bill. go. You'll see. You'll Put see. Put the lotion on your skin and get the hose again. I, <laughs> I told you. I, yeah, I told you this morning. People that wear cowboy hats. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay, Haley, explain your green flag, please. Well. This is a it's cool when I do it thing because <laughs> I have planned for my husband's 30th birthday on his birthday is the 19th. So on 420, I decided to host a pinball tournament in his honor. And I was just being silly goofing and said rootin' tootin' and everyone ran with it. So now I have a cowboy hat that's a disco ball from yes. Hobby Lobby that I will be wearing. So Oh yeah, it's if it's like it. an ironic or like a party cowboy hat, hell yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm with you on that. I'm very opinionated on this <laughs> as someone that grew up <laughs> on a farm. You just summarize it because it's okay. Fine. To okay. summarize it, so I guess I'll just give my basic argument. If you don't live on a ranch, oh my god, in Texas, somewhere up Tornado Alley, or like in Wyoming, and you don't ride horses mm-hmm. and you don't herd cattle. Take off the hat. I feel like this is anti-woman. I feel that. <laughs> Wait, it's what? She's anti-woman. Because of all the like bachelorette parties that wear cowboy hats. But that, that's ironic and like oh, funny. Like well, yeah, funny. it's party hats. Oh, okay. I'm okay. talking about dudes who are just like I'm a cowboy. It's like, where's your spurs at, there, Ranger Rick? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Settle down there, Tex. Yeah. Okay. Take it easy, Woody. Oh, God. It's giving Woody. Yeah. It is giving Woody if they don't, like, <laughs> actually know. <laughs> they don't want to do it. There's a snake in it my comes... It's like the people who are, they're like, oh, I'm such a redneck. And they drive, like, $80,000 trucks and have everything that Yeti makes. Yes. Like, like you're not a fucking. It's the same thing. You're not a redneck. I'm you're sorry. You're not a redneck. If but you I'm guys not ever sorry. Want to have like a full episode of just me going on a rant. So let me talk about like the squatted trucks. Oh or, my like, god. Those t- if you have lights under your truck and that truck has never seen a trail, take them off. <laughs> I'll come come here. I will fight you in the parking lot. Oh my god. Okay, the last one for this episode. For real though. Okay. Thank you for backing um, up on that, Haley. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, Sam, give us a good one. I'm trying. I'm trying. Bring a zinger. Reading you know by what? candlelight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna land on. I think one that we may all have a car, may have different opinions on. Disney adults. <laughs> We're at such opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> or, hang on, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm pulling the white one out for this one. Are you? I think if, if I, I surrender. If, if my if my interpretation of the white flag is correct, that would be, be it's like neutral, like no opinion. Okay, then never mind. <laughs> all of them. No, not the white one. Oh my god! I just have context for all three. Oh my god! Uh, okay, Haley. I, okay, Haley and I clearly are down to clown for the adult Disney Disney adults, right? I said yellow. Did you First say yellow? All, I thought yours was yeah. green. No, I said yellow. Because okay. I was going to say red, but then I was like, oh, a couple of my friends that I really do like are Disney adults, and I don't want to offend them. So, I accept it for them. Okay. It's a green flag for me. Do you, do you want me to explain my... my yeah, summarize my, why. Okay, so, first off, like Haley said, 
We friends. Have, we have friends. Okay. Lauren enjoys going to Disney. I know. Love Lauren. Love Chad. They, Love they Lauren like, and they Chad. Like, they like going to Disney. I have a cousin that is like and way then, too into Disney. Like way renting out Cinderella's Palace. Okay. All right. Red flag. It's weird. What? It's weird. It is. Like, would I love to go to Disney World to, like, walk around and, like, go to Epcot and, like, eat a bunch of food? Have Absolutely. Have you ever been to Disney World? Yeah. Oh. It, my trip did get shut. <laughs> to, to, throw, to throw another wrench in this thing. My, my trip did get cut short because my great-grandpa died while we were on that trip. Okay. And then, but Disney was nice enough. They were like, you know, you, know, we cut, you cut your trip short, but here's three days on us. Oh, that's nice. And then my parents got divorced. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, green green flag would be like for more of them. Okay. Like, yellow flag is for my cousin because like it's it's weird. Mm -hmm. And then red flag is for people like the Disney adults that like moved to that neighborhood they made. Yeah. It's funny. They made a neighborhood? I, oh yeah. yes. And like it, No, but Hell Disney no. Disney is the HOA. Yeah. So, like, they get to tell you what color your house can be and, like, how long your grass can be and what your yard looks like. I love it. I mean, I'm not into Why? it. Why? Okay, so I'm not Would into Would you hang out with these people? No. How can you love it and not, it but you fun. don't want to hang out with them and it's not for you? Because I, I was actually explaining earlier why this is a green flag. Okay, so I love Bob's Burgers and I love Sailor Moon. How dare you? Those aren't even Disney. Are they? But I, that's what I'm saying. Like, no. I. Those are my yums, and, like, I don't want someone to yuck my yum. Does that make sense? So, like, if someone, like, covers their room in Disney and they're, like, obsessed with Mickey, like, good for you that life hasn't, like, beaten Shit, you down all over to the point where you're, like, ashamed of this. <laughs> You've, like, see, I just, like, I like or maybe it's beaten them down so much that they're stuck in that, though. Yeah. You like, think, again, get like there, retreating please. into it. I don't know. I just... I have some friends that are Disney adults. Not they're on. They're not like fully hardcore, but they just. I like that they're still able to be and enjoy like. I'm. I'm that happy. part of them. I, you like know? I can. I can. I can empathize with it. It's like you know, like if I see some it's like that, like I'm happy for you. You live your thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I want to come over and see your living room that has right, Disney right. wallpaper? Absolutely, fucking same. Not. Catch same. me. Catch right. me. Never. Yeah. Same. But like. Yeah. yeah I'm happy for them. Yeah. But like I'm not gonna. Like, mm -mm. Yeah. You're not putting Mickey There's levels to it. There's levels to it. There's, yeah. there's nuance. Yeah. What's not nuance? The, the Disney adults that I know, like, they go they go to Disney a lot. Like, they'll go there multiple times a year. And, you know, that's not for me. I've never been to Disney at all. But that's different than, like, covering your entire house in Disney stuff. And, like, wallpapering it and making, like, a whole room Disney is just it's it's weird. weird to me. It's a lot. Also, like, if you're an adult, go to Disney all the time. Like that's like my cousin. Like my cousin, like lives moved closer to Orlando. Like pretty much just solely for that. Oh, she does. <laughs> but like, anytime she's like, "Oh yeah, like, we're going to Disney." Like you no, know, this month and like the month after that. And I'm like, "How much fucking money you guys got?" Yeah, was like this shit. Mm -hmm. shit, shit, shit. So expensive. Yeah, I was like, I told Taylor like when they came out with that Star Wars like hotel thing i was like sign me up and then i saw what it was and i was like actually take me off the list absolutely not. yeah 2500 dollars a night stop yeah, hell it, no yeah. what i don't think it was 2500 a night but it was like i think for a week it was like 2500 to three grand a person no yeah. okay no right. no and like and it was one of the, like you were on that ship you were role playing you were larping were you LARPing? Yeah, you were LARPing. Okay. And like all the food was like, start, like it wasn't like, oh, like, you know, we'll LARP for a little bit and like go to Epcot and get some like yeah. margaritas. No, it was like, you're going to eat this weird space food. No. That we gave it some weird name after Star Wars. No. You're basically being home. Okay. Yeah. But they did away with that because it turns out. Oh, yeah. It's expensive as shit. Weird how that works. Okay. Okay. That sounds like hell. Sounds like hell, like this episode's been. I've, I've had a great time. I have, have too. Thank you. Me and Haley have had a great time. Okay, well, yeah. you've also had a great time. Glad you brought us together, Sam. 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. <laughs> if you've also had a great time and enjoyed this episode, Haley, where can they find us? Well, they can find us <laughs> on Instagram, Facebook, and Threads at Plus Size Section, on yeah. TikTok at The Plus Size Section. If you want to send us an email about whatever, no nudes, please, you can do that at the the plus size section at gmail.com is that right that is that is correct yep <laughs> yes okay cool so yeah do that and then also <laughs> give us a like a share rate the podcast please sam requires five stars or you have okay. to give a blood oath yes thank you maybe both maybe but both. okay we hope but let us all... know if you like when ryan comes on here because i'm having fun I don't know about Sam. Time. I'm having a good time. Cool. Even though this camera setup has completely messed me up and I've realized that I've been looking at the laptop. I told the you. Time I told you to look up. <laughs> God. It's just millennial things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Taylor has my it's passport. Okay. Somebody help me. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs>